Hey y'all, it's Tavana Denise, Business Accelerator and Success Coach for women who want to make money by making a difference. And so in this video, we're going to actually talk about what you should be doing during your periscopes. And so the last time we were talking about what you should do before, and you can go back to that video and see the top five things you should do before a periscope. But this time we're going to be talking about the top nine things you should do during your scopes. And I was really trying to come up with 10, but I could only come up with nine. So if you come up with the 10th one, please put it in the comments. Thanks. <laughs> so the first one, and this one came from my brother who's a model, and I think it's so funny, but it's true. And I tend to do it anyway, it on accident. Make sure that the camera is not looking up your nose. <laughs> So it's kind of funny, but seriously, you want to make sure that the camera is slightly above you. So that's one tip for you on your periscope. Then number two is you want to make sure that to tell people who you are, really who you are and why they should listen to you. I used to forget that a lot in the beginning when I was scoping. And so it was just when people started saying, well, who are you and what do you do and what is your business? So I just kind of lead in with that each time now. Um, what else? Be yourself. That is, people love personality, they love your quirkiness or your seriousness. But one thing that I found, I used to be really stiff when I was just doing still video and there was no engagement. And I turned into this weird news reporter type person and I didn't like it because that wasn't really me. So that's my other tip. My third tip for you is to be yourself. Number four, as you see I'm doing now, is to use notes if you have to. Some of the comments that come back and forth on Periscope can be kind of distracting and take you off track. So use notes if you have to. That goes with tip number five, which is to make sure that you engage with people. People love when you talk back to them and actually it makes the scope more fun for you when you are engaging with the people in the back and forth and then sometimes you'll see them talk back and forth to someone else that is watching the scope so make sure that you engage with the people they actually actually kind of um they kind of shape the scope and it starts to take on a life of its own so i love that too Periscope is all about the hearts. So you want to make sure that some people just get on there and start giving hearts, but sometimes you really have to ask for what you want. So make sure that if you want some hearts for what you're talking about, ask for them. Simple as that. I have no idea what number we're on now. I think it's number six. The other thing you want to do is ask people to share. Ask people to share the, the scope with others while they're on it because that will increase your reach and increase your following. So just make sure that you remember to ask people to share. I'm guilty, I forget that, but hey, it's a brand new platform, so we're all learning here. Number eight, number eight. You wanna make sure to tell them how they can connect with you towards the end or even in the middle. That actually is a good idea too because sometimes people don't know how long you're gonna go for and they can't stay on for a very long time. So make sure you tell them how they can connect with you. And then my number nine is if you have an opt-in or a giveaway or a worksheet or something that's related to the scope that you're that you're talking about, make sure that you share it because that increase that increases the people on your list and that adds additional value and has them stay connected with you outside of Periscope. So those are my top nine tips for things that you should be doing during your periscopes. And I'm still looking for number 10. So if one of you all have what they should be doing during the scope, please put it in the comments below. And I will talk to you soon about just very few tips that you, things that you should do after you scope.